Okay, du bist jetzt mal wieder Bogen, ja. Ich bin jetzt kaum. At school, they said segregation is what's said in the Bible. Genesis 9, verse 27. At seven years of age, you get told enough times you believe it. You believe the hatred. You live it. You breathe it. You marry it. For some people, this may be hard to believe. And for some other people, some other particular people, this may be their excuse to express the hatred for other races of people. And for others, this may be a hint at the truth which has always been hidden from them and the public for decades. Ocio everyone, I'm Dane Calloway and I'm just here to make you think about today's question. Is the Caucasian race becoming extinct faster than some population analysis may assume? And what does this mean for the US population of white Caucasians in general? Is the US census reporting the truth or are they manipulating the number count of each particular race in order to accommodate a hidden agenda? I'll be answering this and more, so let's begin with some things you may be familiar with first. According to a census data brief conducted by the Applied Population Lab, during the year 2015, there were more white deaths in the US than white births. It also says that of 2016, whites were dying faster than they were being born, and a whopping total of 26 US states like California, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Florida, just to name a few. Here's a clip from the year 2016 of a broadcasting news television network covering this topic. More white people died than were born in 2016. Data shows in 26 states, whites are dying faster than they're being born. Between 1999 and 2016, the number of white births fell by 10.8%. That stands at just over 2 million. Researchers suggest the reasons for this decrease are the Great Recession, a drop in fertility rates because people can't afford to have children, and a rise of mortality rates as most of the white population is aging and dying of natural causes while others are dying from drug overdoses. A demographer at the University of Texas at San Antonio and a co-author of the report says it seems that white people going under the 50 percent of the population mark might be happening a few years earlier than projected. Some of the states most affected by this shift are Oregon, California, Arizona, New Mexico, Florida, North and South Carolina, Pennsylvania, Maryland and Michigan. Researchers are predicting by the year 2045, whites could drop well below 50% of the population. While the white population is decreasing, the census says minority populations are steadily rising. Let's stop here. 
The reporter is indicating that researchers have predicted in 2016 that by the year 2045, whites or the Caucasian race will be well under 50% of the U.S. population count. So it goes without saying, whites or the Caucasian race will become the minority of the U.S. population. This conversation is being quietly talked about amongst news reporters and bloggers or what have you. But this is actually essential to know because of what this means for our future sake. Now, keep in mind that they're telling us their prediction of when the whites will become the minority here in the U.S. But what they are not telling us is their prediction of when the Caucasians will go extinct. Why do you think that's the case? Could it be because the public would be afraid of what the truth may tell us? Or is it due to an agenda that someone or somebody's may have in their mind? Or is that agenda already underway? What's interesting to note here is that in March 2015, the U.S. Census Bureau released their projections indicating that whites will become the new minority of the U.S. population in five years, which will be the year 2020. And can anybody recall any of the 2020 U.S. Census population count results being revealed to the public by any mainstream media news or whatever outlet during the year 2020, 2021, or even now in 2022. Remember when Brandon, or some of you may know him as Joe Biden, not long after he became the new president, warned, or some of you may take it as a threat, threatened so-called African-Americans that Europeans will be the minority by 2040. I've been around doing this for a long, long time. I don't always get it right, but I always take responsibility. When I get it wrong, I acknowledge I got it wrong. But my overarching objective, if we cannot make significant progress on racial equity, this country is doomed. It is doomed, not just because of African-Americans, but because by 2040, this country is going to be minority white European. Hear me? Minority white European. Now, this meeting was conducted during the same census taking year of 2020. And Joe Biden stated that by the year 2040, this country will become minority white European which is five years earlier than what researchers predicted in 2016, meaning that it will happen faster than what they predicted. Or did it happen already? Is it now time to call us the majority of the U.S. population? Or have we always been the majority of the U.S. population? Because to be referred to as white by the U.S. Census means that you are a native-born immigrant of European or Middle Eastern or of North African descent. This also means that not all whites are actually Caucasians. So when they are predicting that the Caucasian race is dying faster than they are being born, this means that they're becoming extinct right now. And the census is actually calculating and documenting the Caucasian race along with their immediate future replacements in order to stay as the majority. Listen, could this be the main reason why there was a noticeable increase in so-called illegal immigration starting during the census taking year of 2020? Just to manipulate the numbers of the white population before publicizing the final count to the public? I'm just here to make you think.